And we're back with our pre-Oscars special coming up next, unraveling a narrative of a fictionalized true crime story and a mystery that has not yet been solved, labeled as epic by its viewers. And now we dive deep into the nominee for Best Director. I know things they don't know I know. He said that. You sure he said that? I'm worried nobody threatens Hoffer. I got records, I got tapes, they're done. I had to put you into this thing. Sooner or later, everybody put here as a date when he's gonna go. I know how you feel, Frank. Trust me, I know how you feel. We'll bring you back after you get your car. All right, The Irishman right there. Oh, I'm so excited about it. So you I guys, we it. are here with, of course, Julia Swift, and she is Champlain a College Professor, as well as our very own Rotten Tomatoes critic. So Julia, tell us all about this one. So this is Marty Scorsese mm -hmm. for his Netflix film, and they really gave him free reign, and yeah. he did Martin Scorsese at his best. But what I want to point out there is that final scene Oh my gosh, I love where Al Pacino is leaning in the window and he's trying to decide, he's looking at Robert De Niro mm -hmm. and he's deciding, he plays Jimmy Hoffa and he's trying to decide, am I gonna get in the car? Am I not gonna get in the car? He knows what's gonna happen. We all know what's gonna happen to Jimmy Hoffa, right? <laughs> <laughs> but it's that moment, I don't know if you noticed, but the first time we see him in that scene, we right. see Al Pacino in that scene, we're driving up. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing it from Robert De Niro's point of view. It would be a very different scene if we had started with Al Pacino, but because we start and we're driving in with Robert De Niro, we're feeling such guilt right? because Robert De Niro is the one who's going to get him, right? And so we feel, we know Robert De Niro's heart is torn. And then when Al Pacino comes around and leans in the window, again, we're f so much from Robert De Niro's point of view that we, like Robert De Niro, want to mm -hmm. say, no, no, go away. Uh -huh. Those are all decisions the director makes. Right. Okay. And that is what Martin Scorsese is so amazing at. The other thing he's amazing at are these moving images, right? He moves the camera all the time, right. but they're motivated movements. They don't distract from what, they're, what he's saying. They add to it. Like when we see the American flag going by, mm. we know he's making a comment on what the America of that time was, right. right? Everything that he does is making a comment on something about history and politics and family. And this film is about an older man looking back in his younger days, and it feels like a story that Martin Scorsese could really get into. Uh -huh, and right. it feels like that personal, he adds more character to this than he has in a really long time. Mm -hmm. And I think that's because he put a little bit of himself into this film. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And obviously the amazing actors. And you put that all together and it makes for really strong directing. Let's talk about length. Does yes. it distract from the movie? Yes. Oh, so the length, long. yes. How, so, how long? Three and a half hours. Three and, and a half that hours. Does, and that's it's part of, you know, in Netflix attracts people by saying, we'll give you free reign. Mm -hmm. um, he has a lot to say, Martin Scorsese, so he keeps saying it. He needs a studio to rein him in a little, Okay. okay. I think. You know, you get to a certain point and nobody's going to say no to you except a studio. So he went a place that he knew they wouldn't say no. I hope next time somebody says no to Martin Scorsese because mm -hmm. I love him so much and I want everyone to make it all the way through his films. Maybe you should right? cut him off. Yeah. <laughs> I love him too and the actors right? in this are fantastic. I would love yeah. to edit Scorsese. Yeah. I love Helma Schumacher. Wouldn't that be the dream, right? But she's got to say no sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Incredible all right. one. Thank you, yeah. Julie, for that one. <laughs> well, there you have it. Julia Swift. All right, guys. Next on tonight's Oscar pre-show, we'll highlight one nominee for Best Actor. Stay with us. We'll have more after the break. <laughs>